We begin with breaking news tonight, and it's a tragic end to a story that we've been following closely for a week now. Our investigative team has confirmed tonight that 20-month-old Quinton Simon is believed to be dead, and his mother is the prime suspect. WSAV's lead investigative reporter Brett Buffington is joining us now live from Quinton's West Chatham County neighborhood with what we've learned in the past few minutes. But I just want to tell you, I talked to Quentin Simon's grandmother, Billy Jo Howell, tonight. She's the one who told us that the, she had been told by Chatham County Police investigators and the FBI that this was likely the outcome. She was absolutely heartbroken on that phone call. It was, it was sad and, and hurt, hurt to hear her in her explanation of what she said police told her. We know there will be a media conference tomorrow. The police chief here in Chatham County, Jeff Hadley, will uh, will update us on what he can about this case. But I can tell you so far what we've learned tonight is that Chatham County Police confirm that they now believe that little Quentin Simon, just 20 months old, is deceased. I can tell you from the family that they believe that this investigation will likely involve a landfill. We don't know exactly what landfill, but that is what the family is telling us tonight. We also know that Lelaney Simon, Quentin's mother, is police's number one suspect. She is suspect number one in this case. Police tell us tonight they have not made an arrest. I can tell you the family here, very emotional behind us. They have been out. They are not happy. At least the ones that have come out are not happy that we are here tonight. But again, I can tell you that I've talked with Lelaney's mother. She is the one who told me tonight that police have told her that they do not believe little Quentin, just 20 months old, is still alive. Again, talking about with her that this investigation somehow involves her daughter, suspect number one now tonight, according to Chatham County Police, and a landfill. We are certainly working to learn more. We know that police will give us more information. I can tell you over the last couple of days, especially since last Wednesday, we have watched police gather evidence from inside of this home. We know police had cell phone data. They were able to ping along, certainly from the cell phone that they took. We don't know how that played into this, but we do know it as early as two days ago, police were telling us that they had evidence that they were analyzing, and tonight, we now know that according to police, they do not believe little Quentin will be coming home. We are live in Southwest Chatham County. I'm Brett Buffington, WSAV News 3, on your side. Brett, thank you. And for the full timeline of this story, you can visit WSAV.com slash Quentin Simon. We'll have the latest overnight developments on News 3 Today that begins at 4.30 tomorrow morning.